welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. So excited today, guys. My friend Tammy of Happiness Created contacted me a few weeks ago and asked me if I would like to host a collaboration with her, Winter Wonderland. This is an open collaboration. I am so excited to be participating in this. I will have Tammy's channel link as well as a link to the playlist in my description box below. Guys, I live in Michigan. In Michigan, we can have five foot of snow one day and the next day it'll be 70 degrees. I absolutely adore my state. It's gorgeous. I've lived here all my life, born and raised. Tomorrow, I'm right in the winter spirit because tomorrow, actually, we're supposed to get two to four inches, which could turn into two to 16 inches. It all depends on the day, but I absolutely adore my state and I am right in the winter wonderland mood. So without further ado, let's get to crafting. And for my first DIY. I even told Tammy about this one, guys. I was talking to her and I said, I am so excited about one of the projects I'm going to do for this collaboration. This is one of the 14 inch round wreath forms from the Dollar Tree. And I like the beige ones that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, guys. They just cover so well. And I have this ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It is the one and a half inch ribbon. What we're going to do, go ahead and turn our wreath over. I'm going to start at a bracket, guys, right here in this section. I'm going to take a little bit of Aileen's Tacky Glue. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, you've heard me say it before, is because when I hang this, if it is in the elements at all and it just has hot glue on it, it's going to fall if it gets warm or too cold. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Fabric Fusion as well as hot glue. You could also use Tacky Glue on this. I really do like the Fabric Fusion. It's a bit pricey, but it's well worth it in the end. Okay, now I'm simply going to wrap it around our wreath. And I always decide the spacing when I actually am constructing the wreath. Guys, I'm going to go a quarter inch over into the piece before stopping every so often you be the judge to add some more of my fabric glue and hot glue this is a wired ribbon and wired ribbon is so much nicer to apply guys i'm just pulling as i go about a quarter inch over and we're going to do this all the way around our entire wreath fabric fusion hot glue So you should have approximately that much left on the bottom. Now this is going to be the bottom of our wreath. Now what we're going to do is I have some good burlap fabric. Now I purchased this online on Amazon. So I will have the link to this burlap ribbon in my description box below. They come in a pack of three. And guys, it is absolutely the best burlap ribbon I've ever used. I love it. We will be using the same method to start our burlap as we did our cloth ribbon 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start it right here where we ended our burlap, or excuse me, our cloth ribbon. This fabric fusion, guys, it works so wonderful. And when you start working with your burlap for our last two sections, you're going to want either your finger protectors and or a good silicone spatula. I'm just going to wrap around, guys, just like so. Let's continue. Now I'm going a little over a quarter inch on the burlap. Just like so and we're going to stop fabric fusion hot glue okay guys I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get this wrapped and we'll be right back we're gonna do the prep to put our decorations on our wreath and what we have today is I have two of the branches that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. And I actually got these for 50 cents a piece. They were on sale after Christmas. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and I'm going to cut these branches right off. They look like little ice crystals. I just love them. So we have our branches ready. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wipe this up. One of my wipes from Hippie Crafter. Guys, I'll have this link in my description box below too. These wipes are just amazing. wreath back over. I have these river rocks that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and what we're going to do is on the burlap section only we're going to glue some of these river rocks on just like a puzzle you guys. However you want to put these river rocks on your piece. I just kind of play with them a little bit and see which one goes good where and I am going to be adding both kinds of glue the fabric fusion onto the rock as well as the hot glue. And you don't need much. Just like this. Just going to kind of be placing them. This makes the reef a bit heavy. Just like that, guys. I try to pick the flattest ones. There we go. Now guys, this is substantial. These rocks make this a nice, substantial, heavy piece. Now what we want to do next is, let me look at my piece, I want it nice and centered. You want to make sure good and centered for you. All right. Now, we want to place our branches. Now in placing our branches, you want them right there. They're, it's perfect. I just kind of go along, guys, and see where my roots would lay nicely and make sure that it coincides with the top of the wreath as well. 
Now you do want your roots to show. You absolutely want your roots to show in this piece. Okay, I'm going to take some good hot glue. Guys, you can take a crazy glue for this as well. A super glue. That would be awesome. Just like so. And lay it. And again, just placing them as you go. Okay, guys, I'm going to get our last two branches placed, and we'll be right back. We have our branches applied to our wreath. Now, what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to apply a little bit of the brown moss. From the Dollar Tree just a wee bit okay so I'm gonna pluck out some of these strings all right now I'm gonna take my hot glue and go just like this and we're gonna spread some of this around so not too much, guys. You just want a wee bit of this, and it's so messy. Okay, guys, I'm going to get this applied. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, and there is our wreath so far. Now, we're not finished yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tacky glue. Now, guys, we are just going to dust this. Okay, we're going to dust this on. I have some of the glitter, and this is from the Dollar Tree, I do believe. I'm going to get this opened up. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm literally going to dust this on. Maybe we that. Okay, you can always rewrap it. Okay, now. Okay, this is the first time I've ever done this, guys, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm going to just put some, you know, just here, there, and everywhere. Got some sparklies here. Dusting it on. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, it'll stick. Can see it sticking. Okay. I could also use some spray adhesive. I have not had good luck at all with spray adhesive, guys. At all. So we're just going to do it like this. See what happens. We don't want it too sparkly. Just like so. So the end of the project is kind of messy. <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. Gonna stand it up. What stays stays. What doesn't does not. Just like so. Okay, guys. And I'll be right back with our final reveal. And there it is, guys. I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous. There's just enough shimmer. So pretty. I am so pleased with the way this wreath turned out. On to DIY number two. And for DIY number two, I had this tiered tray that I picked up at Target. Now, it fell apart on me. It just fell right apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screws out of the sides right here, guys. And 
I'm going to remove the top layer of the tray. I'm going to set this aside for another DIY. First thing I want to do with our tray is I have some thistle rope and I just love the ruggedness of this thistle rope guys so I'm going to take and I'm going to start right down here and I'm going to hot glue thistle rope all the way around our piece just like so. And you have to work kind of fast because hot glue against this metal dries very fast, guys. This will also cover up the holes where the screws were in our original piece. Guys, go check out Tammy's channel and the playlist. Again, I will have them linked below. So talented and so much inspiration. bottom of our tray once again I'm going to get out the moss this is so messy guys I'm going to try to keep it on my little silicone pad here all right the moss and some hot glue I'm just going to go right around our wood piece just like so Applying a little bit more moss than we did with our roof. This moss goes a long way. Okay guys, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean up my pad and I'll be right back. I really have some snow that I purchased at a garage sale and I'm literally just going to do this. Just go around with it just like so. It. This is a perfect little decor piece. When it's cold winter at night, the snow is falling, you're by your fireplace. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and spread a little bit of sparkle in there as well. Just like so. So pretty. All right. And now, what we're going to do is I have this pillar candle that I actually purchased from a garage sale. Stickers, they're snowflake stickers. Now I purchased these, I believe it was Hobby Lobby. It may have been Walmart, guys. Don't quote me on that. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sporadically stick them right to our candle. Just like so. And we will continue this all the way around the candle. I place the candle right in our little tray, just like so. That's beautiful, guys. This is so pretty. Now, I have this little snowflake, and I'm going to place it under the thistle rope. But first we have to give this a little bit of sparkle as well. So what I'm going to do is take 
and I'm going to place a bit of Mod Podge. on the snowflake this is the satin Mod Podge we're going to go ahead and we're going to sprinkle right over Just like so. And we're going to let this dry. And now that our snowflake has dried, I just took a bit of hot glue and glued it right above our candle. I think this little decor piece is absolutely beautiful. to DIY number three. For DIY number three. I have these two signs from the Dollar Tree also left over from Christmas. I paid 50 cents a piece for these. Now guys what I'm going to do is I have absolutely fallen in love with this Nimbus chalk paint by Waverly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of the Nimbus on my little sign. Here we go guys. All right. Yeah, this Nimbus paint is absolutely beautiful. It's white, really. It's, I don't know how to describe it, guys, but it's wonderful. This is going to require two coats, so I'm just going to go over each surface. So while our paint is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and I sprinkled some of the glitter, this beautiful snow glitter, right onto our piece. Look how pretty that is. Okay, we'll be right back and we're going to finish this one up. And our last step on this last DIY, what we're going to do is again, I'm going to be using one of the little plastic snowflakes from the Dollar Tree and I am literally just going to place this right in the center with some hot glue. We're going to put our hot glue on guys and I'm going to be repeating this for both of our boxes just like so. So, so pretty. Okay guys and we'll be right back with the final reveal. And there we go guys. I think these turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I want to thank Tammy for asking me to host this Winter Wonderland collaboration with her. I had a blast. And thank you to all of the creators who have joined us, guys. Again, I will have the playlist linked in my description box below. Please check them out for tons of inspiration. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription and you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye. Bye.